Is it time to buy or sell Broadcom stock? In this video, we will explore Broadcom in depth. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, the 20th of August in the year 2024. And now we are here to provide you with an even more comprehensive analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analyses. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the capabilities of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since the 15th of August, 2024, our system has identified Broadcom as a buy candidate, granting it a score of 3.98. Now let us examine the stock's performance during this time. Regrettably, the stock has not met expectations, experiencing a loss of 0.11% thus far. This equates to an average daily loss of 0.03% since its classification as a buy candidate. The stock is currently situated within a broad and modest upward trend in the short term, indicating potential for further growth. Analyzing the three-month trend, there appears to be a possible change of approximately 6.76% over the upcoming three months, with expected returns ranging from negative 11.2% to positive 23.19%. Looking at the 12-month trend, this suggests a significant change of nearly 79.91% over the next year, with potential returns between 51.15% and 115.1%. This could equate to a price range of between 250.84 and 356.81 after a year. Our latest daily update for Broadcom includes the headline, Red Day on Tuesday for Broadcom. The Broadcom stock price experienced a decline of 1.05% on the last trading day, Tuesday, the 20th of August, 2024, dropping from $167.71 to $165.95. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated by 2.57%, ranging from a low of $164.15 to a high of $168.37. Notably, the price has increased in seven of the last 10 days, showing a rise of 15.31% over the past two weeks. On the last trading day, the volume decreased alongside the stock, which is generally a positive indicator, as volume should correlate with stock movement. Specifically, trading volume fell by 2 million shares, with a total of 19 million shares traded, amounting to approximately $3.12 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price recorded was $185.16, while the lowest was $79.54. Currently, the price stands 10.38%, or $19.21 below the 52-week high of $185.16, which also represents the all-time high for the stock. Broadcom, trading under the symbol AVGO, continues to position itself strongly amid current market dynamics. Recent analysis highlights a shift towards artificial intelligence-driven investments enhancing Broadcom's appeal as a stable choice in an increasingly volatile sector. While concerns about overvaluation and excessive investment in artificial intelligence persist, Broadcom's diverse portfolio, including cybersecurity and data management, offers solid growth opportunities. The company recently executed a 10-for-1 stock split, a move typically viewed as an aesthetic adjustment, yet it indicates corporate confidence in future performance and accessibility for investors. Expectations of further expansion in earnings and valuation multiples bolster a favorable buy rating for the stock. The semiconductor industry thrives on the expanding demand for fifth-generation and Internet of Things technologies, positioning Broadcom as a key player set to benefit significantly as these markets evolve. 
Analysts project a vibrant end to 2024 for Ego, especially as the focus on artificial intelligence solutions continues to gain traction. In short, while the market navigates through the rapid growth of artificial intelligence and its potential pitfalls, Broadcom's robust fundamentals and broad industry exposure make it a compelling investment both in the short and long term. This duality of operational strength alongside a proactive market approach is likely to support continued upward movement in Avgeo's stock price as investor sentiment stabilizes. Analyst Ratings On Tuesday, the 16th of July, 2024, it was reported that Cowan & Company assigned Avgo a buy rating along with a hold action. On Monday, the 15th of July, 2024, Oppenheimer rated Avgo as outperform with a hold action. On the same day, Piper Sandler rated Avgo as overweight while also issuing a hold action. Additionally, on that Monday, B. Riley Securities provided Avgo with a buy rating and a hold action. Lastly, Wells Fargo also rated Evgo as overweight with a hold action on that same day. Analysts have assigned Broadcom stock a general sell rating. They evaluate the price-to-earnings ratio as strong sell and the price-to-book ratio as strong sell as well. In terms of return on investment, analysts provide the stock with a buy rating. The following signals have been identified for Broadcom. The Broadcom stock presents buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, suggesting a positive outlook for the stock. Additionally, there is a general buy signal indicated by the relationship between these two averages, with the short-term average positioned above the long-term average. In the event of price corrections downward, support can be expected at the levels of $161.14 and $158.66. Should the price fall below either of these thresholds, sell signals may be triggered. Furthermore, a buy signal has been noted from the three-month moving average convergence divergence. However, some negative signals have also been highlighted, which could impact the near-term performance. A sell signal was generated from a pivot top point on Monday, August 19, 2024, and to date, it has decreased by 1.05%. Further declines are anticipated until a new bottom pivot is established. The volume has declined in conjunction with the price during the last trading session, which decreases the overall risk as volume should typically align with price movements. Here are some additional signals that may pique your interest. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a buy signal. Pivots issued a sell signal two days ago. Bollinger Bands signaled a buy four days ago. Short-term moving average indicated a buy signal 10 days ago. Long-term moving average also indicated a buy signal five days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages showed a buy signal three days ago. Examining the 12-month chart reveals, short moving average indicated a buy signal seven days ago. The long-term moving average also indicated a buy signal 10 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 200 days ago. For more signals, be sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Broadcom Broadcom finds support from accumulated volume at $165.86, and this level may present a buying opportunity as an upward reaction can be expected when the support is tested. This stock experiences average movements throughout the day, and with solid trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. Over the last day, the stock fluctuated $4.22 between its high and low, which is approximately 2.57%. In the past week, the stock has shown daily average volatility of 3.36%. Before we dive into the potential trading levels for Broadcom, let's briefly cover some essential fundamental data. First, we have the price to earnings ratio, commonly known as the PE ratio. This important metric assesses a company's current share price in relation to its earnings per share. A high PE ratio may indicate that the stock is overvalued, or it could suggest that investors anticipate significant growth in the future. 
In other news, the next earnings report for the third quarter of 2024 is anticipated on the 29th of August, 2024. Now, let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Broadcom. In the event of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Broadcom stands at $167.90. If you do not own any shares, it may be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For those who already hold the stock, this could be a point to consider for swing trading. Conversely, on the downside, Broadcom faces its first support level at $165.86. Should this support level hold, it might present a favorable entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Broadcom from multiple analyst sources is classified as a sell. Now let's examine some recent insider trades. On July 11, 2024, Tanhawk E executed an insider sale of 7,502 shares of common stock with a par value of one thousandth of a dollar. On July 5, 2024, Tanhawk E conducted another insider sale, this time of 8,200 shares of common stock with a par value of one thousandth of a dollar. On June 26, 2024, Samueli Henry performed an insider sale of 15,815 shares of common stock also with a par value of one thousandth of a dollar. On June 21, 2024, Tanhawk E executed an insider sale of 3,450 shares of common stock with a par value of one thousandth of a dollar. On June 20, 2024, Paige Justine conducted an insider sale of 254 shares of common stock with a par value of one thousandth of a dollar. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we have determined that the insider power is negative with a ratio of negative 21.932. Overall, insiders purchased 303,929 shares and sold 469,965 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $159.06 reflecting a decrease of 4.15%. This stock experiences medium daily fluctuations, indicating a moderate level of risk. Additionally, a sell signal has emerged from a pivot top identified nine days ago. Is Broadcom stock a good buy? Several short-term indicators, along with an overall positive trend, suggest that the current level may present a buying opportunity there is a reasonable chance for Broadcom stock to perform well in the near future. After analyzing the volatility and movements from the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Wednesday, the 21st of August, we anticipate that Broadcom will open higher by 20 cents and begin trading at $166.16. We remind you that trading involves a significant risk of losing money, and it is important to consult with a financial advisor before making any purchases or sales of securities. You should not base your investment decisions solely on the information provided by StockInvest.us. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment choices. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Share your thoughts in the comments below. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.